I don't know how to stand in this video. Hello Jellybean, what is up? This is my summer 2022 plant tour video and I know I should hop on here and say hey. It has been a while since the last time we moved from Montana to North Carolina. I lost a lot of plants mid-move, but now plants are the plants that have decided to stick with us are bouncing back and growing. So let's go look at my plants. So starting off in the kitchen, um, we do not have spiders like this in Montana. Like, are you telling me North Carolina spiders just want to live right up next to you? Are you kidding me? It's actually horrifying. Albo syngonium. Look how beautiful. Here's the one previous. And look, look, look. Popping out a new one too. I'm so excited to see what the new one do be looking like. Wow, you look beautiful there with your little rainbow, my friend. Next up, this was a cutting from my mom's plant. My mom has a really big, beautiful Hoya obobata that she's had for years and years. I don't hear peeps talking about this plant and I don't know why. This is like a window horthia, one of the ones that you can like see through. There, you can kind of see it better. The little windows. These are cuttings. Well, I didn't cut them, they fell off. <laughs> Um, of my Tritoscantia Red Hill and I just plopped them in soil to reroot them and they're already like rooted. Tritoscantia propagate really well. This was a aloe piece like separation from my mom's aloe. They're doing good. I put this tension rod here so that I could hang some plants in front of this door. We don't use this door anyways. <laughs> so this is Philodendron Brazil. This is a Hoya Australis Lisa. The leaves are so beautiful. They each look like little individual like art pieces. And then the last plant on that rod is a Red Hill Tritoscantia. Is blooming in some spots. Are the blooms all done? Oh wait, here's. Okay. Pencil cactus? Is it pencil cactus or stick cactus? I think it's pencil cactus. I actually think that this happened because it needed to be repotted. I need to like chop this off and then I can chop it here as well and propagate. And they are pretty big. This is the global green, right? Yes, because the emerald is like the light on the outside. Is that right? I think this is global green pothos but I am a sucker for pothos and any trailing vining plant. Next up here is my Monstera Peru, which has actually kind of like outgrown this spot, especially since I put it in a basket. They're like crunched in there, I feel so bad. I'll find a new spot for them today. This is trailing jade here. I love trailing jade. I got actually a big succulent arrangement and it was kind of funky like the succulents were not doing so well but it had the trailing jade and i was pumped about it so i brought the succulent arrangement home and i repotted all of the succulents like on their own and they're doing a lot better now this is my hoya eclipse getting some new leaves painted lady philodendron painted lady the leaves literally look painted on this plant. I know that like sounds self-explanatory, but it's bizarre. It's beautiful and, and their petioles are like this pink, pinky color. I love colorful plants. I feel like you're not getting its full propagation boxes um, with long fiber sphagnum moss. On this windowsill, I have some cuttings. Back there, I'm pretty sure that is a dragon fruit type of cactus or whatever it is they grow on. It was like kind of in a long strand and I chopped it up and put it, they're rooted. They root really fast after you get them in soil, but 
I guess we'll see what it ends up being. Calathea Cathedral windows. They look like stained glass windows. Mother of thousands. And then I have this begonia. The bright red splotches on this plant are so beautiful. This is a black pagoda lipstick plant. It is a cutting off of my mom's. It's growing, growing some, some more leaves. Hoya Chelsea, they are beautiful. I love the, the round chalby leaves of this one. Get some humidity for when I make my tea or coffee in the morning. Um, this is a rat tail cactus that you can see. That's where they start there and they trail down into coffee zone or tea zone, whatever, whatever the day. Hoya Matilde. Look at them. You go, you go. Um, this is a Hoya Latifolia. Look how big this leaf is. I have big hands. I've got big hands, okay? Wow. Beautiful. I need to move you so I can show more plants. Is this Sissus quadu quad Sissus quadula? <laughs> um, I don't know. I'll put the name up here, but this one is very fragile. You can see like right here, this one is like looking like it's dying. It's because it broke and sometimes you don't tell that the pieces break until they start getting like wrinkly and you're like, oh, that's probably not getting nutrients because you can see like these ones here are just fine. So that's no problem. I just have to take this out. You can feel it's pretty loose there and um, propagate it on its own, like pot it up, maybe just to get back in the pot here. These, I feel like you kind of look at them wrong and they'll drop those pieces, but they're so beautiful. Like, look, they've got little leaves. I love this plant regardless. I think it's also called a pickle plant or a pickle cactus. Is it? Am I just pulling that out of my- Anyways, here are some more cuttings from my mom's Hoya Obavada. This is a grafted cactus. And then next to my grafted cactus, okay. This situation, okay. This is my Raphidophora tetrasperma. They grow like a weed. I've tried, I have to chop them so, like so often. <laughs> They're in a jar of Lekka and I want to get them in a pot, but I honestly don't know. They're growing really well, and I don't know that I'm ever gonna be able to get this plant out of the pot. The Piper plant is so beautiful. It has like silver purple splotches on the leaves, and the leaves are thick and juicy. Behind them is a Rex begonia. That's Fiona Borkin. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it now because it's like takes just the right lighting. Maybe you will. But the leaves are so sporkly that it almost looks wet sometimes. And I think that's really cool. I also really love red fuzzy petioles. Like that is one of my favorite aspects. <laughs> I love it so much. Look, look, look. Okay. Look in there. How beautiful. This is a cutting from my mom's plant as well, from this Calathea. My mom's plant of this is absolutely huge mungus, so I'm hoping someday they will be absolutely huge mungus as well. But look at this, how little this leaf is and how cute. Oh my gosh, what? Totally forgot to talk about these plants while we were here. This is another Hoya Australis Lisa because I am an absolute sucker for this plant. Look at those leaves, they need to be a little bit dusted off or wiped down. I probably should have wiped down the leaves before this video, but eh. Dragon scale alocasia. Just a little baby, but they're there. They got some soil on the other side of their leaves, so it's not a pest problem. It is soil. I need to unsoil them. <laughs> but they have a new little leaf popping up. I love how this plant has like red veining on the underside of these leaves. Okay, 
here's the plant and here's the underside and when they're mature the bottom of the leaves are like white with the red veining so it mega sticks out it's so beautiful have a good growing time my little friend next to kyle's desk here is julian it is kyle's money tree they are taller than i am i know you're not gonna be able to tell here i'm 5'10 and this tree is taller than me my grapevine ivy this plant i cannot believe survived the move next up here is the spider plant i feel like they need a name honestly they all probably need names but I think I have attachment issues with that, and if I named a plant and lost it, that wouldn't help, I don't think, the situation. Look at these rainbows coming in on these spider babies, are you kidding me? And then moving into the spider plant, this is a, oh geez, yellow gem ficus elastica, question mark. Next up here, this is a terrarium I started a long time ago. It's been at least a year since I've opened it. There's like Peliona in there. Am I saying that right? Peliony? Peliony? Mm -hmm. Some fern. I think there's Hoya in there as well. Here's a better look. There's all kinds of moss stuff happening, which I freaking love that. All this like moss green. All this green? grew in here this is its own little world i used to open this sometimes and add water if i thought i needed to um but it really hasn't needed anything like i haven't opened this for a year and it's like looks like it's nice and moist in there it's got its own little environment happening and then the condensation will like come down like rain kind of i don't know just imagine us being in a big terrarium and not like knowing it and then all of a sudden someone like popping the cap every now and then <laughs> what anyways food for thought but probably probably just pretend you didn't hear that this here is a thimble cactus this plant this is the lifesaver cactus and oh my heavens and insert a picture here it was blooming for me. I took a picture of the blooms to show my friend, so I took this out, took a picture, put it back, immediately broke off the piece that was blooming. <laughs> Is the other piece. And the part that was blooming died off like right away. But you can see there's another bloom that could happen there. I'm hoping it opens up, but I also understand that if the stress of like being ripped off of the <laughs> other part of the plant like makes it decide not to bloom but i i would love to see her bloom again up here is a succulent this is a chroma succulent and then under that is another terrarium like jar but this is just like moss or something that i took from a stream in montana and it is still like growing and doing its like moss things in there um, I kind of want to show you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see in there. You can see it kind of growing up this side here. 10 out of 10. Nice. So, random moss from a Montana stream. Yep. I honestly don't know what kind of cactus this is, but they are chilling. They're vibing, so doing good cactus things. It is one of the ones that make the blooms that look like big starfish and they're huge these blooms are absolutely massive you know the before succulent arrangement pot i was talking about that i split apart all the like like succulents so they could live on their own this is part of that of how leggy they are i think that it is so cute in this pot i know some people hate on leggy succulents but gosh dang they're so cute though this is Celeste, my Monstera Thai constellation. That's the newest leaf that popped out. In Montana, we did not have the amount of rain we had here. I can like fill up a bottle while it's raining and use it for like spritz, like spritz my plants with rainwater. That is so cool. That is not something that was like able to happen in Montana really. This plant, 
I take outside and we sit in the rain together to get some rainwater and I think it loves it. The first time I did that, its leaf unfurled so fast. Yeah, those are quality rain sitting times with this plant. To grow light up by the window as well. The windows have an overhang that kind of blocks any direct sunlight. So even though these plants are right by the window, they are not really getting that much sun. This is my Raffidophora dragon's tail. Missed them. I should have done that this entire video. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Look at those juicy wet leaves. This plant also grows like a weed as well. I had to chop it to put it on a moss pole because the moss pole would have been like taller than me. This is Samson Kyle's coconut palm tree plant. Looking gorgeous as usual, Samson. This next plant is another one of those succulents that was in that succulent arrangement. They did not have any leaves before, so I thought that this was just a regular elephant bush but it's actually variegated i don't think you're gonna be able to see too well here maybe when the leaves get a little bigger or there's more leaves but since separating them this has sprouted so many new little leaf points and i'm so excited to see this plant in all its glory this is kyle's um samurai sansevieria this survived being in a box for like three months. This and another cactus of mine during the move, it's a long story. I actually shot out this shoot in that box as well, but it also broke it. Kyle's succulent, cute, cute cutie. Oh my heavens, I did this plant so dirty. When I tell you I did this plant dirty, I did this plant so dirty. I think I gave it root rot, question mark. Anyways, I don't know how much of this plant's gonna live. This was, by the way a much larger plant i recently like i took all the pieces out and separated the roots cleaned them off got them repotted all the ones that i think have some life left in them so my tenanthi maybe this piece these pieces back here will survive i'm thinking maybe there's my fionis bagonis this is a Milky Way cast iron plant. I love this plant so much. It looks like... What? Look at that. They look like bleach splotches. That's just how the plant is. So, Milky Way cast iron plant. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Look at these cute Fiona pigs. You are so cute! Okay, next up on the windowsill. This is kind of a mess but i also love the chaos a lot of my succulent oops when i did that repotting when succulent leaves popped off just kept them so that i could regrow them in soil and this is the product of that also ogre ear jade and are they called jade trees no i think they're just called jade next up here this is a this is a peperomia marble he's heading over here no more filming plants just filming fionas fionas begonas what's up hmm we'll give you pets stand by i don't know how long this is gonna like <laughs> there are my cuttings this snake plant actually has been in this bottle for a while and every time i look at it I'm like, dang, this could not possibly fit any more pups. It has pushed out yet another pup, so I have a couple of these. And they lost all their leaves during the move, and they've like pushed out new, like a tree. And then it starts coming out and growing. I also have a large air plant in with this fella. This is, okay, my Monstera adansoni. And this plant really does not appreciate being looked at the wrong way by the AC vent. By the way, this lamp is a grow light. Golden Pothos, I love vining plants so much. Over here, this is a Jade Pothos, like a, the regular green Jade Pothos. So there is that space. I painted this table, by the way. Don't look too closely at it. You can already tell it is so much darker in here, so these need to get moved. Kyla and I just put on like a screen 
so the plants can't be in the windowsill anymore so i need to move these this plant is for my sister-in-law it is a true skindapsis trivii moonlight and i have another pencil cactus or stick cactus this is my office space background if you're in like my asmr lives this is what you see most of the time and the plants back here, there's only a couple because these are like, need to be pretty low light tolerant plants. So I have this snake plant and I have some lucky bamboo, which is actually like a dracaena and some more lucky bamboo question mark, but this is like potted in soil. My lucky bamboo down here is just in water. But this is in soil and it's doing all right. It has some brown leaves because it's a little, it, I need to pot it in a bigger pot so it can have more water, but it's also doing good. It's, you know, it's growing. <laughs> and then over here, this is my upright mandarin spider plant. Look how beautiful. And the last spot with plants is my desk. This is a Marble Queen Pothos. Look how big these, oh my goodness. So beautiful. This is a San Pedro cactus. This poor fella got really beat up during the move because they fell out of their pot while they were in like the trailer and just like was rolling around. So there's quite a bit of like marks on there, but still growing, still alive. This Hoya behind it is my Finley Sonai. Finley Son Finley Sonai. Finley Sonai. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I need to get them like a bamboo stake or a trellis and get them repotted. So pending. This here is my Heartleaf Hoya. And then some string of hearts. I have this. Is it a Kalankoe? Is it a, I don't think it's like the string of coins or anything, but I have this succulent, which was also um, in the succulent arrangement. And then here is my Pilea peperomoides, looking cute. I thought this plant was gonna die long ago. Look at the rainbows in their pot. Oh my heavens, so cute. I love how this plant grows. What a fun plant. I'm trying to show you, but it's pretty backlit. This is my Hoya Macrophylla, Hoya Wyettii. I love the dark edges along the Wyettii's leaves, like the dark borders. And then I do have another jar of moss from a Montana river. So this is a cactus. I'm not sure what kind of cactus. This is a variegated Hoya Wyettii. So beautiful. Skindapsis, is it Silver Splash or is this Skindapsis Exotica? Mm, I don't know. Looking beautiful though. I painted this pot. There they are. And then this is my Monstera. These two leaves, actually there's more over on that side, but these two leaves in particular have been here since before the move. I think I've propagated this one twice since being here. This is the other cactus that was in a box for like three months with that Samurai Sansevieria. It's alive. And then this is my Euphorbia. That is all of my plants. I do have some more outside actually, which now I'm starting to feel bad. I didn't mention them. Should I have mentioned them? I have like a Mandula Pothos, Crinkle 8, a few other. I have a Cobweb Spiderwort Trotscantia, which is pretty cool plant, but they're being treated for mealybugs at the moment. Let me know what your favorite plant in my collection was. Let me know what your favorite plant in your collection is. If you have a collection, I'm assuming that since you made it to this point of the video, you're into plants and you probably have a couple yourself as well. So please let me know in the comments below. Would love to chat plants with you. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one if you watch it. I was serious about the plant thing. Please leave your favorite plant in the comments below. I am nosy and I need to know.